What's up, guys? Another interview. You got your boy Jeff right here. We got Kyle from the, another athlete from the um, West Coast Warriors. I cannot wait, guys. Uh, again, again, thank you for watching another interview. And uh, we're just gonna keep on spreading more positivity through this channel. So if you like, um, you know, you know what to do. Uh, yes, I don't need sir. To get that. So Kyle, let's get straight to it, man. Kyle, let All us right. know where you're from, how old are you, and why you started calisthenics. All right. I'm originally from San Diego, but I grew up in Fresno, California. And I actually started doing street workout calisthenics. Yeah. Just because I saw someone do some 360s and I was like, bro, like, what is that? <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what Max. the hell do you just do? Yeah. Like, yeah. Is that possible? You know, yeah. so I just asked him, I was like, oh, can you teach me? And so that's how I started calisthenics. Amazing. So we had a 360. Amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. Though. So I, I guess it was just a random person in the park. It wasn't an actual athlete or anyone who actually inspired oh. you at that moment, right? It, it was an athlete. So like, I, I played rugby like for a long time. Okay. Well, yeah. let me not discredit the person you saw because we're, we're all athletes. What I meant was somebody who has that, that recognition already in the sport or something like that. That's uh -huh. what I actually meant. So uh, he still slightly trains uh, at, at our gym here, but dude. So he still slightly trains, but um, he used to compete and all, but he's a, he's a semi-pro soccer player. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, he just, he just goes hard all the time. So when I watch him, he's got long dreads. Dude, he's just a legend. He's an absolute legend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, is that, was that Steve-O? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. The only reason why I know this previous interview with Mark, um, so that's how I know it. I, it looks like my memory yeah. is working good, man. Steve working good. Yeah, steve -O is a legend. He, he's, he taught me, like, he taught me really the mindset that I got. I yeah. got I, I got a real specific mindset when I when it comes to training. I got that from Steve-O, and I've always used it from him. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. So big shout-out to Steve-O. Thank you for inspiring all of us and the West Ho the whole West Coast team. So I really appreciate that, the West Coast Warriors. Um, so um, were you always into working out prior to seeing um, uh, Steve-O? You know, yeah. So, I mean, like, I played sports my entire life. So yeah, like, I, I always loved sports. He was always like sucked at school, but was good at sports. So okay. like, of course, in school, never actually got anywhere with sports because I sucked at school. So like, calisthenics, I didn't have to worry about <laughs> the school. Ooh, I just had to train and enjoy the training and just do my own thing there <laughs> and progress how I got to progress. It's like more free to me. Yeah, that's but awesome. I played, I played football, baseball, soccer, uh, rugby, track. Track and field, like I did, yeah, I just did everything. You had, you had a very active childhood, so it also transitioned into the calisthenics. Um, in the beginning, being that you were very active in the beginning, did you find calisthenics challenging at all? Um, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like literally my, my first day, so I, I got my 360 in the first day of training, but I literally ripped my entire palm off. Like the whole palm came off my hand. Ah. I didn't know that that happened. I didn't even I, know about, I, I'm, I'm still shocked that that even can happen. Yeah, I'm, I know about calluses breaking, but geez. I didn't even know that, that that was a thing. So, like, I just went up and, like, my hands are fine. But then, boom, one catch. Whole thing. I'm just like, bro. <laughs> like, what? I got to deal with this? And that's just – and and on top of that, where we, where we come from down here in Fresno, like, there's no stopping. Like, you rip your hand, you're not stopping. Yeah, keep going. They force you to keep going. Like bandage, bandage yeah, it up and keep it at. Yeah, keep going, bro. Like don't stop. Yeah. So the first day of training, you hit a three sixty. So you yeah, got naturally gifted or naturally talented towards it, or you just uh, maybe based say, on your. Yeah. Yeah, I would say more towards dynamics. Like, of course, when you start getting to higher level combos, it's no longer uh, it's no longer a talent. It's a skill set. Like, yeah. you get to combos that I'm doing now, it, it's not. I'm not using talent anymore. Like I've learned the skill set to it, but to start like spinning a little bit, wasn't the hardest thing for me to, to get my, my head around. Yeah, I would yeah. just kind of turn around real quick and just try to grab the bar. That's probably because of rugby mainly like the hand eye coordination you got to have for all that. So, yeah. So that transitioned into it. That's awesome, brother. Um, yeah. I, I realized that uh, uh, anyone who's active in the, excuse me, anyone who's active in their uh early childhood that transitions 
uh, tremendously to any sport that you may do now, especially calisthenics. You know, it's uh, a lot of mind muscle connection. I co- the hand eye coordination is something you also got to pick up. Um, and whoever's been doing like, I, I interviewed somebody who was doing gymnastics. So balance, you know, that, that it carries over, it carries over. So if you were active in the beginning and you know, you're looking to do calisthenics, you may be surprised. You may do, be able to do some stuff. Yep. Um, what's your favorite exercise today? Now that you have, you know, so many years training. Yeah. Exercise as in like, like, a, like what do you, like a training regimen? Cause I know you do freestyle and, and, and statics, you know, you, and do you do, you combine it together. Like what's, what's, what's a day. Well, like, every day like seven days a week people ask me all the time i make an effort to freestyle seven days a week so i freestyle every single day okay as i'm gonna freestyle later today i freestyle last night i just gotta keep that up but like training wise i i found the most beneficial training to me is keeping an even balance between training the basics as in like pull-ups push-ups dips squats oh, all the fundamentals all the yeah. with the statics okay. like not just doing one or the other like because doing the basics like it gave me that that initial strength that i needed to do the statics but you're not gonna get the statics unless you train the statics Absolutely. so like kind of like foundation then the house you know got it, got it. yeah yeah it's, for sure. i would say basics always basic always basics yeah man um it's something that i i, I gotta get back into i'm a, i always do basics too but not as from when I started. And then now I, I don't do it as often because I want to achieve that planche. I'll be doing a lot of planche training. Um, yeah. But I'm just going to get back to basics, just c- continue body conditioning, getting stronger. And I know that's going to transfer over. So that's yeah. awesome, bro. Um, so do you do you say you, you do freestyle seven days, your strength training and body conditioning, like the, the, the you do that five days a week, I, four days or whatever you feel like I it. Kind of, okay, so like with, with that, I really feel like how I feel, but I do, even on the days I freestyle, I still train the status or okay. the basics or both. Right. So like I always, when I'm going to do like basics, I'll do the basics first and then I'll freestyle after all the basics while I'm just like really tired. Right. Yeah. But I'll do, I'll do probably like three, four days a week, five days a week sometimes. I mean, I planch every single day. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's not necessarily training, but it's, you know, it's getting a rep in, you know, getting that, that muscle coordination in there. I feel it every day. And yes. it's getting, it's literally getting better really fast. by doing. <clears throat> awesome, man. It's kind of like a grease to groove kind of thing. Just you do a little yep. bit every day and then it, over time it's going to add up, you know, the minutes. And and the also like it's training basics. Like I think one thing that people like remove from the word basics is the rest. Resting is basics. Like that is basics. That's part of training. And yeah, like, like, when I started you, I did not rest. Like, I just kept going and going. <laughs> and next thing I know, like, problem after problem after problem. I'm hurting here, here, here. I'm like, dude. I'm like, why am I hurting? I'm like, oh, did you rest? No, I went hard eight hours yesterday at the beach, eight hours straight or something like that. You know. And then yeah, today yeah. I'm going hard for another three, four hours. No. Yeah, you yeah, I can't. Yeah, it's overtraining for sure. Yeah, for sure. So listen to your body. You you do a lot of a lot of listening to your body. You don't have like more of a structure written out throughout the day. It's just more like a, mm-hmm. I right, today I feel this way, so I'm gonna be able to do this and that. Um, but I know. Gonna, yeah. At this point, after I'm almost at four years, so January first will be my four year mark. Okay. Um, after this long, I definitely know like what my body's telling. Me. Yeah. I yeah. understand. I understand what I'm feeling. I understand the different. You know what I'm saying? So absolutely. I also use like my my team and I we we have like workouts on our on our uh, website. Yeah. And I train the planche program that we made, and like it's like a three hour, three and a half hour long planche program. But I train that as often as I can with good rest. Gotcha. So that can that can just you know that can vary. Yeah. On types of workouts can make like this workout I may be weaker in the core area, so I may be way more sore this week. Versus the next workout, I'm, I may not be as sore because I'm stronger in my back, or you know what I'm saying. So, gotcha. kind of like I go with the flow on the training. Yeah, yeah. Always keep the body. Yeah, the flow is, body. That's my life right there. The flow. Facts, bro. Facts. You gotta listen to your body, man, and your body will tell you what it needs. 100. Yep. percent Just, just, just have that intuition within you. Do you do any 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 specific diet plans for yourself? Do you eat a certain way? Actually, you know. <laughs> it's like such a joke with all my friends because 
I eat, I can eat like whatever I want. Like I have the fastest metabolism. So like, I'll just be eating Oreos all the time. <laughs> and then go hit some 720 real quick. You know? <laughs> not, okay. It may work now, but I'm, I'm fully aware that that's not going to work for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I just recently got a meal plan. I bought a meal plan off of uh, one of my, one of my friends who's a trainer out of the gym. So I'm going to start doing a meal plan with him. See how that goes. But currently, absolutely not. I just, I just eat like the best food I can. Y'all want to see some food? I got some, I got some tacos. Chicken. That's right. You mentioned your mom's made some tacos. I got some chicken tacos. My mom, y'all don't know. Shout out to my mom. She's a legend. She made the Kyle Corbin. She made me 720. My mom goes hard. Awesome, man. Awesome. She's your biggest supporter and your biggest fan, huh? Yeah. That's great, bro. Yeah, that's, that's great. Fun. Yeah, we. Uh, my mom is my biggest supporter. She, she, when she found out like, I'm doing this channel, she was like, go for it. And then I tell her every day a new update. I'm like, yo, guess who wants to do it? She's like, really? For real? I'm like, dude, I got to do it. She's like. That's so sick, bro. It's sick. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And it's a blessing that we still have our mothers to support us, man. It's a blessing. Um, yeah. Now that we know a little bit about what got you started, you know, now, now we know that you're going to get serious with your meal plan. Hopefully that works out for you. And maybe you see some, some actual changes as far as not just physically, because that comes with the training, but maybe mm -hmm. like energy levels, maybe, maybe performance wise too. Um, Cause you know, what you put in is your fuel. So uh, tell me what motivates you now, Kyle? Like what's your biggest motivation now? Really? My biggest motivation, man. Like there, there's quite a few things that go into me being motivated. Yeah. There's a lot of people in my life that I, that I love. Yeah. yeah like my team, for, for example, my team, like dude, they're, they're more than a team to me. They're just. It's family. It's, it's like, it's like my mom, like, I don't just be like, oh yeah, my mom's family. You know, like my mom's my mom. Like I love her to, to the core. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's kind of like the same with my team. Like we, you know, all family goes through problems, you know, but like, that having that type of group around me really is just that alone is just like the, the energy that that gives you is, is insane. And then dude, the people, like the people that I don't know that yeah. are supporting me. Yeah. That dude, that is like, I didn't think I would ever have that, you know, cause of course I didn't start out with, with a, with a following of course. So there was not people. I didn't, think that, I didn't think by me just swinging on bars, like I would have 30,000 followers. Yeah. And yeah. There's all these people that are just like constantly messaging you saying that you're inspiring them. Like that alone is insanely inspiring. So Absolutely. like, that's cool. The haters, bro, the haters go hard. Like that's one of my favorite things. It's like so funny. It's so funny to me because like, I couldn't picture myself. Like, like I don't know you on a personal level. I couldn't right. message you and be like, Oh, you suck. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's, I don't, there's nothing to go off. There's, yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. I kind of, I kind of like that, that energy where you, you're going to prove someone wrong. I like it. I don't know why. Like, that what pressure. do the haters say? What do the haters say? Like, what do they say? Yeah, what do they say? Oh, bro, dude. They, okay, so one, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to say any names. <laughs> keep, it no true, keep it neutral. Keep it neutral. Keep it neutral. Keep it neutral. You, whoever, if you're watching this, you're gonna know that I'm talking about. <laughs> you. Know that I'm talking about you. And this man has won competitions in the United States, and he proceeded to tell me that I'll never win anything. I'm too weak. The game's too far ahead of me. I, I'm never gonna be a champion. I suck. I'm like, all right, man. I'm like, all right. Watch this. Watch this. Now at this point, like the, the from that was a year ago that he said yeah, that to me. Actually. Right, right. From that point until now, dude, so much has like, changed. Already, huh? I've won, I've won many, many competitions at this point, and I've, I've already traveled to Ecuador. You know, what I'm saying like I. Your boy was telling me about that. Yeah, so like, yeah, I love it, dude. It's the pressure. It's the pressure that's motivating, really, because you can get pressure. The reason why pressure is motivating because you can get pressure from the people you love. You can get pressure from people you don't know that are supporting you and pressure from people that hate on you that you don't know. Pressure is, well, is everywhere. And use that to fuel you. On, on, how, on how you use the pressure. I use the pressure well. I love the pressure. Like, without the pressure, I don't think I would go as hard. There you go. Put some rocks, yeah. in, uh, put some rocks in the pressure makes diamonds, right? Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, not just rocks, but minerals. You know what I mean. You, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They get it. They get it. <laughs> y'all know what he's talking about. Don't yeah. play. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kai, you're super cool, man. Appreciate you. I appreciate you doing this with me. Appreciate of course, it. bro. This is this is cool. I've never done this before. Oh, really? I like the, I'm not the best at talking to, on a camera, but like. Dude, just be yourself. Like I got to tell everybody, I'm being myself, be yourself, be comfortable. This is, I think that's, that's what Kyle Simmons is all about. You know, being comfortable with yourself. I'm, I, I think like, I'm just talking to you. That's it. I ain't, that's it. That's it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything else. We're just having a conversation. I'm getting to know you. Yeah. You're getting to know me. And, uh, and that's what this is all about. You know, Kazakhstan is breaking barriers and breaking walls. He's all the way in California. I'm over here in New York and we still get to know each yeah. other. Man. That's great. Mm-hmm. That's great. So what other areas do you believe in your opinion has calisthenic improved besides the physical aspect? Honestly, what I've noticed like on a big scale yeah. was the connection of countries coming okay. together. That, yeah. that part right there, at least for our team, you know, like the, the connection between athletes in different countries, it yeah. wasn't like a very distinct thing. Like people were, it was like Morocco is Morocco. Right, right. New York was New York. Cali yeah. was Cali. But now it's like, like, I'm on the phone with you right now. Yeah. I got, I got brothers, bro. Like straight people that I look at, like my brothers, they live in Colombia. They live in Ecuador. You know what I'm saying? So, or. I'm from team. Colombia. Oh, for real? Yeah, Cali. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, I, 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 I've been. I've been. Going to Rea. Oh, my boy. Can't go to Rea with puta. This guy. Can't go to Rea. Yo, <laughs> love it, Kyle. Love it, bro. I love it. No, I, I speak two languages. So I, speak, I speak Spanish. I learned a lot from, from my brothers out there in Ecuador. Nice. Uh, nice shout nice. out to Mauricio. If my y'all know if you're Mauricio, watching it. Legend. I mean, yeah. I'm sure you'll you'll hear him at some point. Uh, listen, I've been messaging everybody, man. Everybody. I don't care if you got one follower. I don't care if you got 200 million followers. I don't care, man. I'm messaging everybody. If you practicing uh, and training calisthenics, I want to hear your journey, and that's that's my point. I want to create a platform where everybody can share their journey, and I'm sure somebody's gonna get inspired by that or learn something from that. And that's what I'm that here for, like, bro. That's a great idea. Like, that is sick. I I hope I hope this does absolutely amazing. I think it can. Well, I feel like with the community support, we're going to get there, man. We're going to get there, bro. Absolutely. That's without a doubt. Without a doubt. You're going to so, see me commentating on the next X Games. Not. You're going to see me commentating for whatever calisthenic events is going to be happening. That's my mission. I want to make sure that we elevate it so much it gets into, it gets into the Olympics. Ah. Uh, you know yeah, what I mean? What put it, the Olympics, bro. If, the gymna- if gymnastics could be there, why us not? Man, I think, I think the Olympics needs more 720s up in there. I'm going to bring agree. that. I agree, bro. I want to see some. I want to see some crazy stuff at the Olympics. And next thing you know, we're gonna be like Kyle representing the USA, going for the gold. You know what I mean? Like to me, that 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 drives me even further. It fuels me that that us as athletes can can represent our country and and, and hopefully get that gold, that gold medal. You know, that sounds, yeah. that sounds beautiful. I mean. Dude, Enough if we got a gold medal up in calisthenics. Woo! That's what I'm saying, bro. Very possible. Very possible. I think, hey. I think that to get into the Olympics, personally, like I'm gonna speak dynamic wise because I think I think strength wise, I think it's already there. Yeah. Oh, like, that's a fact. Guys, guys are just over there, just doing this, pressing like it's nothing. So I'm like, bro. <laughs> Maltese so like it's not they, they, I, I, uh, you know yeah. uh, you, you said you know uh, people in Colombia you know uh, Juan calisthenic uh-huh. he's doing two finger pal- two finger planches like yeah dude. come on like you know that we're pushing the human body to its limits and then some yeah so dynam- dynamically I think I think we gotta take it to another level still okay I think, I think we got more levels to reach because watch the routines they do in the Olympics like dude. they're clean they're clean bro Clean. I mean, we use hard bars, so it's different, and we do different tricks. But at the same time, they are doing the absolute craziest things. Like just their parallel bar routines. You know, yeah. we have different parallel bar routines, like where we hold planches and we press a lot. They do a lot of swinging, but they're like doing double backflips on the parallel bars, re-grabbing the par. Like what? We gotta hit that level on hard bars. Yeah, yeah. Just That's it's made, like no grips, with gritty hands on these bars and we're just going in. Let's go, yeah, get that work in, get that work in. Like yeah, yeah, I hear you, brother, I hear you, man. Listen, uh, I, th- I think uh, right now we're paving the way, slowly but yeah. surely. 
And, um, and hopefully if anyone that is into, uh, or anyone's in the organization of the Olympics, hopefully they're watching and they can hear us and we're, you know, we're working yeah. towards it. We're going to perfect it. We're going to make it better. We're going to elevate the sport to make sure That's it gets exactly. recognized. And, and with athletes like you, Kyle, I'm sure we can do that and your team, you know, like I'm sure we can do that. Uh, but let's, let's talk a little deeper. Like what setbacks have you had in, in your calisthenic journey? What was the what? What setbacks have you ca- encountered on your calisthenic journey? Nah, I, th- <laughs> I think the thing keeps skipping out. Keep cutting- yeah, yeah, no worries. Can you hear me now? What yeah. setbacks did you have during, like, you oh. know, about your, your calisthenic journey? Uh, so are, you, are you speaking specifically setbacks in the sport? It doesn't have to be the sport. It could be like a, a personal setback, like, you know, like an injury maybe sometimes can okay. also set us back. It could be a life event, you know, if you feel comfortable sharing. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm a very open person. I don't mind at all. So injuries, I mean, I haven't had like the craziest injuries, but at the same time, I have, I have gotten injured, which has like really set me back for a long time. Yeah. Even to the day on some tricks that I just like, kind of stray away from like uh i did i used to hit reverse flyway regrabs all the time no warm-up i would just go up to the bar reverse flyway regrab and just start calling <laughs> people be like what and i would just be like i don't know it's kind of easy right boom one day i go to do it both my heels hit the bar mm-hmm. and it fractured both of them oh yeah oh never did that trick both again. your heels wow I didn't even like walk correctly like it hurt just to just to walk ouch man yeah, you know, I kept training, but like at the same time, yeah, no first five re grabs until the day I'm gonna get it back. Keep my word for it. y'all watching me. I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna get it back, but I'm working on something bigger right now, so don't worry. Don't worry about anyway, it. Like, there's that, or like, I you know, I hit a one arm 540, slept off the bar, destroyed my knee on the Oof. ground. Like, my knee looked like a grapefruit, it was huge. Oh. Man. That I had to have a big knee brace on. I was out for like six months. Mm. Um, sh- shattered collarbone. That could happen. Yeah. yeah. Shattered collarbone, broken ribs, punctured lung, broken shoulder bone. All, all at the same time. <laughs> oh, dude, how how that happen? That was like, that was literally training calisthenics in the beginning and rugby. Ah. I, that set me back in calisthenics because I, I got – Rugby is, you know, a real contact sport, like real rough contact sport, you know. Yeah. So Bro, I, yeah. I got down and dirty when I was in there, you know. So like, I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. It happens. It happens, man. Got crushed by by a few big dudes. Rugby usually have some big dudes, man. And then there's me, you know. Like I'm not very big, but I I will throw down. I do not care. Facts. <laughs> facts. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's awesome. And um. So you've been training at it for some time already, and I'm sure it's developed other things, not just your physical aspect, your strength, you know, everything that comes with the training. But how or has it affected and uh, not affected really, but how has it impacted your other areas of your life? Well, man, like in more ways than I can pro- probably explain, to be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. Like, through the amount, the amount of things that I've had to live through just in the past four years, which is like, it's a lot. There's a lot of like pretty crazy scenarios that I've had to live through. The fact that I, the fact that I kept calisthenics, even through points when like a lot of people would easily have just like forgot about it and just like trying to do whatever they're doing. I never forgot about it. And by doing that, it, it kept me connected to, to the closest people other than my family. Yeah. Because my, my team, they right. really kept me with them. And having them, like, keep you going through not just calisthenics, but, like, through anything that you're going to go through. Like, they're there. They're not just calisthenics friends, you know. Like, they're family friends. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones that are there for you in the background when no one sees. So, like, my any work that I've had, and I'm, like, getting tired of working a full-time job. <laughs> getting tired of working a full-time job, you just remember at the end of the day, I'm going to go meet up with my friends and we're going to go fly on these bars. So just get through the day, you know, work hard. It's like just things like that. Like really simple things that like keep you pushing because we truly enjoy doing the sport and we truly enjoy doing it together. Yeah. So whatever you're doing, it's, it just, it keeps you going. Literally. It's just like a, it's like a staple. 
That's beautiful, man. Calisthenics kind of like keeps my head level. When yeah. I don't do calisthenics, I start getting like withdrawals. I start like, I have ADHD, you know, I got a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not I, I'm very energy. energetic myself, so I can I can definitely understand that. Yeah, so like when I'm not, I don't get to train. Like I, if I rest for like a whole day, do I, I start like at the end of the day, I'm just like, dude, like start planting. You just start planting. <laughs> planting out of nowhere. <laughs> Everyone's like, bro, what's, you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> That's really, awesome. calisthenics has been like the staple to whatever I've been doing, and I and I correlate my mindset to calisthenics and correlate it yeah. to life because nice. calisthenics is my passion. Yeah. So I have to treat my life like my life is my passion because it should be your passion. Absolutely, the one and only life. So the way I think about calisthenics is I got to go hard. I got to be smart. I really want to get good. You know, I want to do that in life too. I don't just want to just be the best calisthenics athlete and then, you know, like be a shitty person, bad, like have nothing figured out for yourself. Like, no. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I, I completely okay. understand that, man. And, and I agree with you. Calisthenics does transform, not just the physical aspect, but also your life in general, man. It's yeah. uh, it's transformative for the positive And, and honestly it, it has for me as well, you know, in so many aspects of my life. And, uh, this is why this is why we're here, you know, just trying to trying to promote that, you know, how it's not just a training for the physical, it's also a training. It's a discipline. Like, it's a discipline. Yeah, as, as soon as like, you know, we meet Mark and I, for example, uh, mm-hmm. we're trainers here at our gym. And we train kids as, as young as five years old, and we train people as old as forty years old. Yeah. But how can someone that's five and someone that's forty have the same motivation for the sport? Yeah. That means the, that means the sport is real. It's Back not. Up. It's not just a hobby. Like people used to tell us all the time, like, "Oh, it's just a hobby. You're not gonna make it anymore." It's not a hobby. Like the stuff that we're doing is no longer a hobby. It's the real deal. Like we're we're going hard. We're yeah, Marco Salami, Marco Salami, the events you guys host. That's amazing, yeah. bro. That's amazing. Man. The event last weekend. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely yeah. popped off. It was insane. Much power to you, man. Yeah, much, just power, like much luck. I wish you guys the best, man. That's awesome. You're you spreading that that positivity, and you see, you know, you are spreading the awareness of calisthenics to schools and also at, at at your gym. Like that's amazing, man. That's amazing, brother. Elementary schools are, are a good one. Yeah, sure. yeah, and get them get them while they're young because I feel like the younger you are, the, the the easier it is to to master your body and 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 just you know you build that muscle memory much easier. In my opinion, you know, I've yeah. got, you know, if I started a little late as far as like getting really into it i've always had like a good foundation i've always done push-ups dips chin-ups not not pull-ups really chin-ups but my dad was in the military so it helped me you know always build that foundation as far as you were in the military no no my dad was in the military my dad was in the military too. so like his his training regimen uh since young i always see him do push-ups so it like kind of just instilled that in me and yeah. you know I've, I, I've always loved fitness so uh the fact that we can inspire kids like the way my dad inspired me to always try to stay as fit as possible that's that's great, bro. That's great because I don't think yeah. we had that much in that. Now schools are trying to cut off, you know, rec, rec time and stuff and gym time just because of budgeting and stuff. So, this the obesity is a real thing in kids, man. The kids are 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 the next the next up to take it even further. Facts, bro. Like, I want I want to see I want to see these twelve year olds hitting seven twenty. I want to see these ten year olds hitting seven twenties now. I'm twenty one. If I got an eleven year old hitting the seven twenty, imagine what he's gonna be hitting when he's twenty one. Yeah, they're gonna keep on continue elevating the sport, and they they are probably gonna be the ones that are gonna take us and 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 lead our movement into the Olympics. Who knows? It might be us too. I'm not saying I'm not. I don't doubt us. I don't doubt us. But things take time. To be honest, like I would love for that to happen. But at the same time, I I just I'm gonna go with the flow. I'm gonna take any opportunity I get. Yeah. Um, Every opportunity I get, I take. Listen, I want to be alive just to see us in the Olympics. Yeah. I would love to see, like, either if it's Olympics or X Games. Uh, X Games, yeah, is, X Games is just as big. Absolutely, I just want to get us recognized. You know, get us a recognition, get us that proper marketing. That, yeah. I don't. I think I, I mean, both could probably really work to be honest. Because like calisthenics is like, it's like a hardcore. You know, when you watch like gymnastics, like you don't really hear music. It's quiet. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's one of the craziest things, and it's just quiet. <laughs> Facts. It's like dude, we train without music here. It's like it's hard. It is. It is. I like I like to train with music myself. So I'm glad that you bring that up. Like, do you, you, know, you use music? I, I know a lot of athletes use that as a as a source of fuel and just to yeah. pump and keep on going. So that's awesome, bro. Yeah. 
That's awesome. Right. The fact that other, other arts can help us with our art. Absolutely. That is a big thing right there. The music. You yeah. Music. You, you feel it. You feel it in your bones. You feel it in your muscles. You feel it in your blood. Just pumping it. All, all about the vibes. You know, so keep the vibes right. And you're going to, you're going to get better. Like I said, keep the vibe. Right. So I already know you've been doing this for some time and I, I don't suppose you're stopping anytime soon. No. no matter what injury happens, you're going to keep going. Somehow, some way, calisthenics is, is going to be your part of your life. I'm still in the very beginning process of like, by far, I am in the very beginning. Yeah. I'm in the first stage. Gotcha. I, I'm, I'm in the first stage. I can tell. I feel that personally, like the way I feel on the bars, I feel, I feel like some, I'm going to be able to do some things that people didn't think was possible. And I'm gonna yeah. push the limits hard. I can't wait to watch, man. Can't wait to watch, bro. I'll be there supporting you, rooting you on. Do you feel like um no, not do you feel. What do you what do you what do you see yourself as far as with calisthenics in the future? What's your projection? What's your future? What's your, what's oh, your I'm gonna life? be the world champion. One more time? I'm gonna be the world champion. The world champion. Yeah. I'm not gonna, gonna, gonna I'm gonna be the world champion. I love that. Like all talking is aside it. You know, I'm speaking with confidence. Yeah, I'm. I train with the with the intention of being the best I can be. Yep. Right. Whether that ends up being the world champion or not, if I'm the best I can be, I'm a world champion in my eyes. Yeah. Whether I actually won the world champion or I'm doing the best I can do, and I'm literally like doing world champion routines. Yeah. In my, in my eyes, like. I've reached world champion. I want to win the world. I want to be a world champion. So like, yeah. yeah, I train with world champions. That's it, man. That's it. I'm gonna <laughs> hold that title, brother. I'm gonna hold you to it too, bro. Please. So so that that'll be our next segment. Like you know, you'll come back holding that title. Like yo, I got Kyle, world oh. champion. I got him before he was a world champion on my channel. Now he's a world champion. You no, know what I mean? That's awesome. It's just it's slow. Pro it's a slow process. You know, you gotta, I got to be patient. Yep. Um, and on top of that, there's many more people that are going to come before me. Like, uh, for example, anyone on my team, like Thomas is before me. You know, he's, 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 dude, he's an inspiration to the entire world. Yeah. So uh, as, long as, as long as we stay together, it literally keep, just keeps the training going. Um, like, who knows? Like, one day I may not even, even get the opportunity to, to do a world championship but as long as the team lives on um i'll be happy that's the team lives on that's it's that's kind of like what we bring to the table is i, I think it's definitely going to be living on i mean you guys are doing something great there with the community and the young, younger generation and i'm sure they're going to want to join the warriors the west coast warriors so it's just yeah. a matter of time as, as 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 things develop and evolve i'm sure the team is going to evolve into something bigger and i'm, mm -hmm. I'm sure i don't see it going anywhere and neither is the sport so as long as the sport is here, I'm sure the West Coast Warriors will be sticking around too, for a fact. Yeah, I mean, I hope so. I mean, I, I fully believe myself. There you go. That things will just continually grow. And on top of that, like, we don't, obviously, we don't know, like, we don't know what's going to happen in 10 yeah. years. Right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as time goes on, opportunities come and go, and you take the ones that you take, so... I don't want to speak too much on the future. I'm not much of like a, a I'm not, I don't predict the future too much. Um, but it's always good to have goals. Yeah, it's good to have goals though, so. Absolutely. That's, that's pretty much like what, 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 what I feel like we should all have, whether it's in your fitness goals or, or life goals, have something to work towards and strive <laughs> towards. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Do you feel like the community or the sport overall, right? It doesn't have to be the sport in general, but just overall is lacking something or we can improve on something i mean there's always something to improve on i agree i agree same time the community is like it's amazing yep. like, it's so crazy like yeah i can go somewhere like i went to new york right i went and battled at the call out and i only know a couple people from online but you get there and it's like the community just goes hard dude just, everyone's cheering for you yeah people yeah you, dude the community is just something else yeah. Venice, like go to Venice. The community is something. Else. It's different everywhere you go. It's, it's a different vibe. At the same time, it's all they all have one thing in common. They're all welcoming. 
yeah as far as, I, as, far as i've learned and like what i've experienced was, as well yeah when i was really new and i sucked and i was too scared to go in the bar and they're and they're like egging me like come on really go to the bar it's all good and, you know it's like i don't even know this guy he's asking me like, <laughs> yo facts though bro that's a that's a fact go just go and try like you know that's that's Absolutely. that's that community right there and it's like that even in in ecuador and in colombia it's like that i think it's a universal thing you know mm-hmm. because we all know the struggle to to whether whether your struggle was a pull-up a muscle-up a push-up a handstand press a plunge press whatever your struggle was we know there's a struggle behind your your yeah. your, your journey and and i feel like we all have the same destination just a different way of getting there and because we know that, because we know what we're going towards, we're always helping each other out along the way. Yep, that's a, that's a fact. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yo, bro, I appreciate your time, man. Really, it's, it's 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 been a great opportunity to interview you and the team. I haven't yeah. got to meet the rest of the team, but I'm sure I will soon. Um, yeah. and cool. and yeah, thank you for supporting my channel, man. Doing this interview, I really appreciate that, brother. Of course, dude. This is like. Interviews, dude, I think interviews, like what you're doing is important because as far as anyone in the world knows, we're just throwing stuff on bars. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like we should tell something before. I, they see it on Instagram. They see it on YouTube, but they don't know the person. I mean, like, go, like for example, look at skateboarding. You know, skateboarding is just like calisthenics. Yeah. It, when skateboarding started, it was like, a, yeah, this is just a hobby. It's not going to go anywhere. Then they started picking things up. They started making websites, started selling. Different companies come out with different skateboards, blah, 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 merch, and then interviews. Now you look, there's, there's countless interviews of professional skaters, and they do it still to this day because people really like that personal, that personal connection that you can get with an athlete that inspires you. Yeah. And I, I know that I inspire some people, and I can't talk to all of them. <clears throat> I can't personally talk to them. Right. And they, in some, I get a lot of questions that are more personal questions that don't even have anything to do with street workout. Yeah, um, yeah. But I'm sure there's more that I haven't seen, you know? So just the fact that you're able to kind of give us an interview and allow people to see more about us, that's going to make this sport grow even more because no one knows anything, you know? Yeah. Like no one knows like what we have to like our day-to-day life versus their day-to-day life and how exactly. we deal with what we deal with. You know what I'm saying? So Facts, I like, like the fact that you're allowing people to relate to us. Yeah, that's part of it. Like you're allowing them to relate to us, even though we're different, and that's that's cool. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Bit. Well, I mean, I thanks. That means a lot to me, man. Like I said, uh, the the community has responded. They want it. They like it. I was just the guy behind the thought, mm-hmm. and you know, and set and set this these things in motion. Like, I didn't think it was gonna you know have this response. So the yeah. fact that you know athletes like you are responding, athletes all over the world are responding. It's it's amazing to me and it brings joy to my life to be able to do this man it really yeah, does I, I hope i hope like you keep doing this bro this is super cool i don't plan on stopping man so it's like it's it's positive you know it's like yeah. i'm not i'm not trying to do this for self-clout yeah. i'm doing this for the clout of the sport like, i want the sport yeah. to grow you're doing i think i think like what i feel like you're doing the right thing i think that by you training i mean i'm sure at some point you're gonna travel at, at some point I'm, I'm planning, I'm, yeah, I, I mean, I love traveling, bro. I love traveling, yeah. and I'm actually planning a trip to go to Colombia to meet a couple oh. of athletes that I'm, that I'm interviewing, and I interviewed already. So, uh, if anyone's watching, I mean, I know they speak Spanish out there, but if you want to meet, like, some of, some of the, the coolest athletes that I know out there, um, freaking Maori Dynamics, Cubillos, yeah. those two right there, those are, those are my dynamic inspirations in the world. Those two pushed my limits. Um, I haven't met Kubios yet. I met Maori Dynamics. We, you know, he's a good friend of mine. He's like my brother already. Yeah, yeah. And he taught me much. I'm going to array. I'm going to array. Facts, um, facts. Yeah. So like, it's dude. It's so. I hope you interview. I hope you interview both of them. Honestly, those are. Yeah, and I, I want to make sure that through my personality, I'm able to drive this mission forward and and grow calisthenics and see yeah. it up in the X Games or or. But just like I said, just give it the recognition it needs. Watch it happen, bro. What watch it happen. Watch what you're doing is gonna elevate. It's just gonna it's just another thing to elevate us. That's just it. Keep doing that shit. Bro. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. How about you? Let us know where we can find you. Where we can uh, uh you know find you on IG, Twitter, you know the the Let's social see. medias. Let us know. Social medias. My IG is uh, the Kyle Corbin. But you already know the deal. Uh, TikTok. I mean, it's not like I don't really go that hard on TikTok, but it's called a uh, Collide Guy. 
that's my nickname, the Collide Guy. <laughs> that's about it. I don't really, I don't have YouTube. I don't, I don't use all that. Gotcha. And I'm sure you got the West Coast Warriors with a Z.com, yeah. right? And then if you want to check out my whole team, check out West Coast Warriors on YouTube, on Instagram, and on TikTok. Those are our, like, main three. You can check us out on Facebook. Just check it out. Like, literally, the content on there is just, it's that all kinds of stuff. Yeah. You guys check out the website that we got. We got crazy things coming up there. Um, I'm working on a 360 master class. So, like, it's it's a completely different type of tutorial. It's not a tutorial. It's an actual class on how to 360. Okay. And you're going to learn, like, if you guys, if anyone watching goes and, and goes on to that, when we're finished with it, you're going to learn like head to toe how to do a perfect 360. I really want people to use that because it's safer, right? It's safer. People are not going to hurt themselves. Yeah. Let's, let's, Love. let's practice. Let's train safe. Let's train safe guys. Train safe. Absolutely. So this is, a, this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's a longevity game out here. We got to be strong forever. So, yeah, I mean, Again, thank you again for, for interviewing me. I appreciate the time. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you for taking out the time of your day and, you know, and sharing your story with us. I really appreciate that, man. Of course. Well, guys, you know, without further ado, you already know that's another interview wrapped up here from New York and California. My boy Cal from the West Coast Warriors doing big things out here, you know, winning championships and all. Hopefully, soon we'll get to see him as the world champ soon. Guys, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, like, share, put on the notification bell. You guys know what to do. And uh, support the channel, guys. Just doing a positive thing out here. My boy Cal's doing a positive thing channel. out there with his team. Support the channel. Come on. Like, this man is putting the work and he's grinding. Support the channel. Come I appreciate on. that, man. I appreciate that. And uh, more interviews coming soon, guys. Just hit that, hit that notification bell so you can get that update, guys. Get that update. I promise you, I got, I got uh, female athletes as well. I did my very first with Aramis. The, 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 that was amazing, man. So... Yeah. And uh, many more, many more female athletes too. So for my female audience, stay tuned. You know, this is not just a guy's thing. I, I promise you, this is a global thing, men and females. You know, we're both strong together. Mm -hmm. you know? So let's do this, guys. Let's do it. Let's do this. Facts. Yep. Let's keep grinding. That's yep. it. Keep grinding. That's the, that's the motto of the day. Keep grinding, folks. Keep grinding, man. Whatever you want, keep grinding for it. Because if not, it won't come to you. You got to go for it.